Okay, I'm in a Zoom meeting kind of all by myself here, and I'm actually recording the screen using Snagit so you can kind of see behind the scenes here a little bit. And I learned something in the last couple days from Dawn Sweet that I want to try out that's really cool. I'm going to hit share screen, but notice this option right here. I have the possibility of sharing my iPhone or iPad. I believe that you may have to have a paid account for Zoom in order for this to work. And I believe that it only works for iPhones and iPads right now. Maybe Android is coming later. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong on those points. So I'm gonna hit share. And it's telling me that I have to okay the screen mirroring using my iPad. So I'm doing that now. Bada bing, bada boom, I have achieved it. So I can use my iPad like I normally would here. And I can write on the screen. I, I'm using Notability at the moment. So maybe we'll make that radius R and make this radius R here. And I can write on the screen like I normally would. My handwriting isn't real great, but writing with the Apple Pen on the iPad is more natural than trying to write on the laptop screen. So I'm still mirroring my iPad and I can do the four finger swipe here to switch to a different app. And this is the Twitter app where the original problem came from. And there's the Safari browser so I can mirror anything. So I hope you have found this useful. In this video I showed in Zoom how you can share the screen and share the iPhone or iPad. And I am doing this wirelessly. It might be that you need to hook up the USB. Somebody can check that out. I was doing it wirelessly. Have a great day.